Welcome back. This video will examine activity-based costing. By examining costs on the basis of activity, this costing method tries to overcome the inaccuracies of using departments or plant-wide rates to evaluate the unit costs. For instance, a production firm might have a value chain that begins with setup for the production, moving of the resources, machining to get it ready for assembly, and finally, the actual labor of assembling it. Although the value chain might be the same for a standard and premium product, the degree to which each product requires these activities could differ. The basis for determining how much each activity is applied to each product depends on different factors. For example, setup could be based on setup hours. Moving could be based on the number of moves. Machining could be based on the machine hours. An assembly could be based on the direct labor hours. Let's use this context to go over an example where we have $250 for setup hours, $65 for moving, $27 for machine hours, and $13 for direct labor hours. Let's assume that the following usages of each of the activities resulted in 20 standard chairs sold, and the following usages of each of these activities resulted in 12 premium chairs sold. We can now use this information to determine the total cost of the standard chairs, which we can do by a similar process to the departmental overhead rates, which is multiplying each of the activity-based rates by the activity usage, giving us a total cost of 1,970. We now have all the information we need to determine the unit cost of the standard chairs using activity-based costing. Given that 20 chairs were sold this year, we can determine that the unit cost is the total cost of 1,970 over 20 chairs, giving us $98.50. We can repeat the same process by applying the activity demands of the premium chairs to determine that the total cost for the premium chairs is 1,755. And once again, this provides us with enough information to determine the unit cost for the premium chairs, which, given the fact that 12 were sold this year, is 1,755 over 12, giving us 146.25.